Hi, welcome there on Arc Linux B. We have built Arc Linux B Deeping and um, we are recording it with simple screen recorder. Maybe you just saw the video about Cinnamon. It's never that easy to figure out what's on what desktop uh, the, you need to have the proper settings and the proper uh, application to have a video that's not glitchy. So I hope this is not too glitchy at all. So it's not, um, well, first of all, the dual screen is just one screen, just to um, be safe that there is only one screen to record and there's no CPU used for the other screen, right? So just one screen. Tried out Deeping Recorder, which is this one, Deeping Screen Recorder. Was unsuccessful to have sound on a video. So I okay, fine. And it was glitchy anyway. So I thought, okay, let's go back to Simple Screen Recorder and not use the extension inside uh, Google Chrome, which you can do as well, Screencastify, which I have done in Cinnamon. My solution there for all the glitches. And then let's have a look. What does Arc Linux B look like? We have a new folder, new document, sort by icon size, auto range, open in terminal. And this is Deeping Terminal. So it has a look that's different from other systems. You can um, change some things in here, settings. So the size may be a little bit bigger. Interface opacity might be useful and nice as well. So all the rest is I think more or less the same and is nice right so this we have now this transparent look in our terminal termite is installed as well but you have to actually type it and launch it so here is your termite and you can say to the system here uh, termite close all force quit or put it on dock so this time when I close it down I just can uh, open it up back here if I close it like this I can open it like that. So that's uh, your dock down here, your menu, but your menu can look any way you like. So this is the launcher. Uh, you can also have this little button and that little, little button. You can keep everything like this or say I'm gonna watch it like this. So we have more or less this kind of feel. Or you can say let's minimize this here and you have more or less, well, a normal menu. The only thing you need to have, here is the button again, uh, is uh, maybe change as well the panel down here. You can change the launcher from mode to fashion mode to efficient mode. And this is really then back a menu like you're used to with all the icons with the system panel here. And um, you can just select anything you want. Here are the categories. So no, not the categories, sorry, the folders in your system. And here are the categories. So if you want to select the graphics, graphic stuff, then it's going to be in here. Here's the back and the system and back. So that's another way of looking at your deeping system. If you like to have it back fashion mode, then it's like this. The rest stop if you want to bottom left, right size, large, medium, small, maybe large. Maybe that's more your style. Um, status keep shown keep hidden smart and some plugins to shut down and date time so all kinds of possibilities um but i don't see for instance i wonder if this will help no so there's no if you move over an icon that it becomes bigger or something some kind of animation or if i throw something of it well it's not in uh, when you <laughs> look there's no cloud but it's gone anyway so I've always liked these cloud, these poof things, you know, but it's gone anyway. So that's good, right? So dock, if you dock something, if you put it here, it will not work. If you put it here, it will not work. If you put it here, it's gone. All right, so I've learned something new. What else? We have this uh, overview. So we can go to uh, this change, which is actually and enter that's the only thing you needed okay and enter and so this one and go back to desktop one we can go to all kinds of uh, applications I rather look at it like this so if we have now this thing all right so 
it's all up to you what you like but a lot of deeping things are in here and I've not had the time to experiment with all of them but there is all kind of deeping stuff like the boot maker manual etc etc music screenshots so I tried the recorder unsuccessful to record uh, voice I'll figure it out so that's all deeping material now if you want to quit you click here which is quite nice and blurry kind of look nice icons and then you need to go to the settings so this is movie this is music deeping file multitask I wonder if I deleted settings if it was uh, there or not I'm wondering about that right now but here are your system icons so that's interesting to know as well so if you're tired of your wallpaper you just go to variety and say let's take something more uh, I don't know anything goes it's just variety that gets me all these wallpapers and never go look for it oh that was a nice one a nice one from more kind of no I miss I uh, did it no okay stop wasting time now it's this one this one is one I like it's uh, of course from in other operating system but the thing is um, I wanted to go to the settings that's it the settings so um, go let's go over let's go to the settings of control center so that's your control center down here you have here now this new overview this is new this does not uh, this was not uh, so you see all my trials but unsuccessful unfortunately so accounts and now everything becomes a small icon but this is the overview but once you go in you get these the same divisions but they're just smaller so that the copy for my display then uh, didn't change anything brightness we could change that let's try out yes it does work uh, night shift it's not night so it will not kick in but custom settings as well okay cancel default applications always interesting to have those with all these here sublime text VLCs here video picture let's take Deeping image viewer terminal let's take termite which means control T yep it is working not deeping anymore but it's now set to I'm wondering what the shortcut was again to have these um, the settings in deeping I believe you could change them I also believe we have here this settings manager control center let's add it to the dock so I do think I deleted it by accident or something so here it is again so we have now themes transparency yeah so this side look we can do it like this I like it like that it's okay the standard setting for me a lot of themes you can choose them a strange thing is that they did not make a division between a theme and an icon theme so they're all in there everything is in there so icons as well as other things now the Sardi icons like let's take and test out the newly created Sardi flexible arc you'll see that not all icons have been changed and that's normal in the sense that I can't do anything about it if it's hard coded no I can think will ever be able to change them but all the rest of these icons are blue so that's a check for me don't need to do anything for the Sardi icons so these two guys either you get rid of them or you just be happy and let it be that's a good option so um, let's take what um, actually has been created for uh, deeping is hello so hello dark just fits in nicely hello and hello dark fits in nicely with this uh, desktop okay so that's nice to know then we go to the fonts maybe so now it's not a sans not a mono and if you want to make it one bigger 
uh, it will be probably applied later on I don't know when it will be applied but we can set it now and see later when I reboot enable window effects if you don't want any window effects uh, then it looks like this oops that's wrong <laughs> this one uh, maybe you, you hear also the the sounds and in, in deeping that's typical deeping when it, even when it reboots and all that uh, it makes a sound so um, either you like it or you hate it but you can probably put it somewhere um, make sure it's not running as possible as well I've done that in the past so Bluetooth and speakers and everything is normal some advanced options as well sound effects here you go you're out so if I add my uh, network this is by accident but then we had got all these sounds well maybe you're not hearing this but the sounds are gone message keeps and the sound is gone because of my selection here sound effects time and dates I have to sync why not okay confirm we can add a time zone let's go to New York New York confirm and we get here okay six hours later than local late than local or earlier right should be three o'clock okay that's what I probably mean because it says here three anyway monitor will suspend so that's the power management password required pass require no thanks I know my password and nobody's here mouse and touchpad mouse keyboard keyboard layout Belgian system American and this is also your general information about the distro we've done a, a video I believe already on uh, the boot menu so the grub change your grub it's quite easy to just change this uh, little thing um, and theme it yourself it's it's um, done already in another video I believe anyway so settings this is the setting is it's beautiful it's nice it's uh, this is all the let's say notifications you all get from everywhere it's uh, like uh, the other operating system you know notification area so I hope this gives us a few a overview of what deeping is and might be I hope it's not too glitchy but um, this is deeping guys all right signing off now where is the button oh yeah like we can do an update I think I saw something about an update coming on so you do an update fine tools fine no scale in in the neighborhood no etc scale so don't need it not now and then let's check if AOR is still up to date and we have new icons so I have a fix for PAMAC AOR and two others from this version to that version everything is in the change log but let's finish here and uh, PAMAC R is here that's PAMAC R hour and we don't like this brown thingy so let's maybe wait for the update so you'll see some point in time this week PAMAC hour gave us an update of itself right of PAMAC <laughs> and um, so all of a sudden these icons change from something green and white if not selected to this kind of uh, box and immediately I did not like it because you see let's give you an example repositories Arch Linux so this guy is not installed and this guy is installed and the only thing the only difference is this green little tick down here that you hardly see uh, so and this arrow up means of down means I'm gonna download it but I, it's almost unreadable so these are not uh, okay that's why we've made a new Saturday update so they're coming they're installing I wonder uh, where my terminal is actually and if it's still installing let's see did I kill it suppose I did so let's pause uh, the video here and let's wait for this installation 
pausing the video is here. Okay, everything should be working again, it should be recording. I've done my updates, waited for it, and this is the result, of course. Everything is now up to date. If we go to PAMAC again and open it up, you'll see this is much better visually interesting to, to know this is not installed, this is installed. If you click on here, it's going to be deleted. And if you click on here, it's going to be installed. It's much more visual to know. So this is the hello icons. They actually depend from Surfin and from um, Sardi, meaning uh, hello is fixed as well. At this point in time, November 2018, it all depends of the inherits line. So there you go. That's the last thing I'll, I'll show you. Uh, but I was thinking of something else. That's true. If we go to the home folder, Control H, uh, I was when I was building all this, I thought, oh, I did not run the use all cores make package.conf. Meaning, if you have eight cores like my machine here, then I can say use them all. And that is something I have not done yet. So it takes a little bit longer if you use just one core or eight cores. Well, it's a big difference. So that's that. We can use all the fun stuff here as well. And um, basically, all the rest will, will work in the sense bash RC, your, your aliases are here. And there are some new aliases you can check out with uh, YouTube downloads and XPack rip is something interesting. We do, let's do a rip and end with it. So recent install packages, rip, I thought it was funny. It was actually an idea from uh, a beta tester, I think. I don't, not sure, so I'm not gonna say his name, but uh, from Discord. And um, there you go, we have here all the last things we've done and the last things are indeed what we installed. We installed Surfing Icons, we installed Sardi, and these are the three things coming in from PKSYU A and this one came in from update and this came in yesterday. So I installed the thing yesterday and you can go all the way up and you see all the versions as well. So thank you for this tip coming from Discord from our beta tester. So that's it guys, um, enjoy deeping. It's uh, a fun thing, uh, still, lots, still need lots of time to figure out all the applications because there are quite a few deeping things in here and uh, all we need is time of course. All right, cheers.